So I look at this, my first priority is to deal with moving the letters around, the variables, before anything else. So what I'm going to do is say equal to, draw a fraction bar, and then just run down the list. First of all, do any of the constants have an exponent that would involve moving them? 14, no exponent, so I leave it. 20, no exponent, so I leave it. A to the negative 4 does what? Goes down. Becomes A to the 4th in the denominator. B stays in the denominator. And then C to the negative 1st moves up. Becomes a positive 1, which I don't need to write. I will make a little note, though, that I could have. Could have written a 1 there if I'd wanted to. Now, a lot of you, I'm looking over your work, a lot of you guys did just that, and that's what your final answer was. Is it simplified? Is there anything I can do with these constants? Like, if I just gave you that fraction, can you simplify it? Yeah. What number divides into both of those? Two. So the last step is to uh, try to reduce the fraction by dividing both of those guys by 2. That's 7. Which now leaves me 7c and then 10 a to the fourth b. Now that last block of problems had a lot of these on there where you had to simplify constants and move multiple variables around. But they're in that, you know, again, we practiced this yesterday and don't worry, there's more practice tonight. So the first assignment doesn't go so well, eh, don't worry about it. You got some more to, to look at later. You, got, you have another chance to show me that you got this as part of the, the formative process.